you know, you have this, there's this legacy issue. I don't know exactly what it is. I guess I'm, I guess that's a way of me asking you what it is. But I mean, you have a, a lineage that, you know, everybody understands that you've sort of continued in many, in a variety of ways. I mean, what are sort of the burdens, the challenges, the value of having this legacy? <laughs> I can remember as a kid in history class when we got to the Spanish-American War, the teacher saying, well, we'll just skip this section here and go right into the uh, Taft presidency. So I, I don't know, I always felt that it was uh, that because my grandfather was a controversial person, it was easier for me because I just had to not be, you know, a colossal criminal. And people would say, that's amazing, look at the guys. Whereas I felt sorry for people like Don Graham because they came from this lineage of great accomplishment and so they would always be held up to their ancestors. It's easier to live something down than it is to live up to something. Well, wait a minute. I'm not sure I, I, quite, got, I quite got that. Well, I'm just saying, I think because my grandfather was a person of some controversy, I felt like all I've got to do is be moderately talented and people will be amazed. Whereas if you're the son of a famous violinist and you play the violin, you're in trouble. You've got to be better than your dad. I mean, all I had to do was just be moderately talented. So, you know, the chairmanship of Hearst is not a staff position. It's not an executive position. But what do you think is your <laughs> responsibility? Well, Woody Allen said that um, showing up is 80%, but in the Hearst company, it's 100%. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, listen, it's a wonderful company with a great long legacy, and it's a it's still, in some ways, a family business, even though it's run by professional managers. And so part of what I hope to see happen on my watch is that the company grows and new talented people decide that it's a good place to work and make their career. And we continue to be in the media business and be successful within it. When you say media, do you mean journalism? Do you, do you anticipate I think journalism is part of it. Yeah, I absolutely do. I, I would hate to see us be nothing but a data uh, collecting company. Uh, that would not be interesting to me. Unless there's a storytelling part and a creative part and a public policy part and a doing something that touches people's lives, it becomes a whole lot less interesting.